but it is estimated by the Nonpartisan Committee for Responsible Federal Budget that your economic plan would add $3 trillion to the federal deficit over the next decade. How are you going to pay for that? We finna bring the smoke. Ooh. People, we bring in the smoke. Let's go. Reaction time. 60 minutes. The Biden-Harris administration has pressed him to agree to a ceasefire. He's resisted. You urged him not to mm. go into Lebanon. He went in anyway. Does the U.S. have no I'm gonna pause it right now. over so, Prime go ahead, go ahead. So, so that's a good question. I like old boy. I like old boy. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, like you've been giving them his aid, you're helping them out, and they're not listening to you. Right. What do you do? And that's where he's at. He's like, man, we give them billions of military aid. Billions. Yes. Uh, we helping you out, and we're telling them not to do certain things, and they're not listening. So what do you do? Here we go. The work that we do diplomatically with the leadership of Israel is an ongoing pursuit around making clear our principles. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. We are not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United what? States to be clear about where we stand well, on the what? need for this war to end. Look, I think right now uh, we are the government. It's tough right now because we definitely are going to always right now aid Israel. But uh, they do have a right, like she said, to defend yeah, themselves I, I get from that. the, I get the that. attack. I get that. I but, get that. But I'm well, not going to say but. Mm -hmm. uh, for if they're just bombing just to bomb or whatever, not knowing where the, the people, if they're going to say Hamas or whoever it is, uh, did the terrorist attacks, we don't want innocent lives to be lost in that. It's innocence on both sides, on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's been going on forever and ever and ever. But okay? what do you but do if they're yeah, not listening? Well, what I think what I'm thinking, and maybe you, look, you're going to have to just slow this down. Let's cease fire. Let's see if we can come to some common ground because we're going to have to Bro. cut your aid. Oh, cut there, your that's aid. what I was, I was waiting cut for. Cut your aid. Cut, cut this then, aid that we're giving you since you're not listening. It yeah. makes sense. It makes sense. But, Kane, and I always said this, and this is me talking, uh, congregation. Um, something has to be done okay i'm talking about you know we sending them billions and billions of dollars mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. uh, look uh i give them a date we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop it we're gonna stop it yeah and see what happens okay yeah we need both parties to come to some terms we can be in the middle or it, it could be a NATO. It don't have to be United States because everybody think we're trying to run the whole world. But let's let's take this to NATO and we all sit down because we're going to have to cut it. We don't want to. But, I, but I NATO this, is not agreeing to giving all this aid. This okay. all this aid. But when when this happened, I said this before, that this will give Netanyahu the opportunity to wipe them off, to wipe them off so this will never happen again. And I don't want to see that. Not all of these people being wiped off. Well, well that, that, that's, that, much that, that won't happen because, remember, they are backed by Iran. You see, Iran is, is yeah, shooting them. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Iran is, is, is sending missiles their way. Yes, their little dome is, is intercepting, and we are intercepting, helping them out. Right, Our right, ships right, right. are intercepting those missiles too. Yes. Yes. And if you if you guys y'all can check it out too, because our, our ships are out there and they're intercepting those missiles that are going towards Israel too. Along with Shut that, up, maybe. yeah, for sure, for sure. They're doing it. They're doing it. But um, yeah, man, if they're not listening, what do you do? We gotta keep yeah. we gotta keep the party going. Let's go. 
we now have historic low unemployment in America among all groups of people. We now have an economy that is thriving by all macroeconomic measures. And to your okay. point, okay. Let's prices do it. are what, still what? too high. People starting I, I know that we're jumping in right. whatever, but the, the, he just kind of skated right past that inflation of the groceries. And they said mm -hmm. groceries are up 25%. She's talking about that's price gouging. No, that's wow. energy. Energy yeah. is more higher. You see what I'm saying? Oil. Yeah. Go on and explain oil, it. What, what do you mean? Is, what do you mean? Oil is higher now because we're not uh drilling locally. There are certain uh uh like the Keystone, which was shut down, that's that was helping us out. So if we have our own, we don't have to pay for oil to be shipped to us, and that in turn raised the prices of shipping your goods your groceries everything everything runs off of energy and that is the oil a lot of people like thinking like man uh um yeah we we'll, just like she's saying let's let's um look for price gouging ain't nobody raising the prices just to be raising the prices because how is everybody raising right. the prices at the same time right yeah right, right. yeah we done seen price gals and a good example of we done seen, you know, in this hurricane victims. Yes, when I was in Florida, when they was having a case of water, $20, mm -hmm. 25, just going to the, the store down the street. That's I remember price gouging. I say, man, this don't make no Be sense, yes. man. That's price gouging. Meaning you're not going to sell that $20 bottle, a, a, a case of water during a regular, you know, Right. Nobody. There's no uh, um, event that went on. You know what I'm saying? Catastrophic right. event. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. That's why I say that 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 price gouging. That's just a cop out. No. Yeah. Ain't yeah. nobody gouging anything. It costs more to ship it to you. Ship yes. it to the grocery store. From the farm to the grocery store, it costs more. Yeah. How you gonna get it there? Gas. Gas has went up. Yes, come on. So we gotta we gotta make a profit here, because if you don't make a profit, we make a deficit, and then now you don't get your goods. Lay off more people at work. Come now, on. Do you want to lay off more people, or do you want to reduce oh, the energy? Down reduce the energy that it takes to get that that product to your uh, grocery store. Come on now. But but Let's she she's saying that it's gouging. That's all of them are conspiring. All the grocery stores are conspiring together and raising eggs. <laughs> Let's listen to them. But it is estimated by the nonpartisan committee for responsible federal budget that your economic plan would add three trillion dollars to the federal deficit over the next decade. How are you going to pay for that? OK, so the other econ economists that have reviewed my plan versus my opponent and determined that my economic plan would mm -hmm. strengthen America's economy, Answer his would weaken it. But my plan. You recently visited the southern border and uh, embraced President Biden's recent crackdown on asylum seekers. And that crackdown produced an almost immediate and dramatic decrease in the number of border crossings. Why you if that's the right answer now, why uh -oh. didn't your administration uh -oh. take those steps in 2021? Uh -oh. The uh -oh. first bill Here we, we go. proposed to Congress was to fix our Come broken on. immigration system. I'm, Knowing that if you right want here. to actually let fix it, cook. No, no, I, I, I know she want to cook. I know she want to cook, but he just said, <laughs> why you haven't done it? You did, you're did. doing it now. Mm -hmm. Why you didn't do it earlier? And her I answer, answer is, for you. you know, her answer is, she's going to say, I, I'm pretty sure she's going to say Trump uh, whispered in somebody's ear and shot down a bill. But that ain't the bill that's working now. What's working now? Well, Why you didn't do it earlier? Kane, it's because, I just think it's because what? it's election time that they're <laughs> trying to do I know, that's it. I know. Just because it's election time. Yes, and yes. she's for fracking. I was so surprised when she did her <laughs> address yeah. and she said she was that. I was surprised when she said she's a gun owner. Yeah. I was surprised with a lot of things. So, yes. You know, it's politrix, so you, you have to adapt. Oh, my God. You have to adapt. Let's see what she... So let, let's, let's listen to her. Oh, my God. A mess. We have, have cut that? the Should flow of fentanyl that? by half, but we 
need Congress to be able to, pause act, for one second. to actually fix the problem. Let me pause for one second. Jason, excuse oh, Donald me. Trump. Look, I would, I would really have so much more just respect for her and Donald Trump if she just took ownership. Yes, and just gave a quick, a quick and clear answer. Yes, it was a problem. That's what I'm happened tell you on why. my watch. The, the and I would like for him to do the same thing when I said January 6th. Yeah. I would have yeah. more respect for him. Just say, yes, I, 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 I take some accountability. Nah, he, he, I would want her to take some accountability, too. Well, That's well, well, January 6th is a different story because he didn't. I know, he didn't. But, he didn't, uh, he didn't James, actually we're not going to debate but, it. But with uh, Kamala and this and knowing that it's, it's a record low now because of what they're implementing now, why yes. wouldn't you? Why didn't you do it previously? Just say, hey, look, yes, we tried to put a bill together and that didn't work, but now I tried to do this and this does work. I would accept right. that. I would Come, accept oh, wow. that. Okay. Why, why wouldn't okay. you say okay. that? Why would you say, Man. hey, we were trying to put a bill together, which is similar to what I'm doing now. Didn't think of right. what we're doing now, but now it came up and we did do what we're doing now. Just say that. But no, you're going to go ahead and point fingers at Trump. Forget him. He ain't even no yeah. president. He ain't nothing right now. You're in charge. Take ownership yeah. of what has yes, happened. Yes, that's it. Just, just say, hey, look, it, look, look, look. We messed up. But she doesn't want to do that because what that does, make Biden looks bad, look bad. And they don't want to do that, right? That, that's and, it. that's to what me, it is. shows more leadership. To me, if you just because that's being honest. We being messed true. up. Yes. yes. I, I'm Come okay on. with mistakes because it happens all Come the time. On. People Come make on. mistakes all the time. Yes, I thought this way and it went that way. Yeah. Say, hey, look, you guys. Yeah, the first three years we were doing this and I thought it was when, and it, it was out of control. But right now, I think we got it under control. Oh. And then if, with me, I can keep it under control with what we got going now. Come on. Why she can't say that? Okay, she I don't said know, that. Let's, let's people, you cooking, boy. Come people on. People will respect that. People will respect yeah. that if she said that, hey, look, what we did earlier didn't work. Yeah. You know? But she, I she agree. She doesn't agree. want to do that. She want to stick to her guns. And it's ridiculous, yeah. man. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. But yeah, let's keep it going. Keep the party going. ...of using racist tropes when it comes to Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, when it comes to birtherism, when it comes to Charlottesville. In fact, you have called him a racist and divisive. Yet Donald Trump has the support of millions and millions of Americans. How do you explain that? I'm glad you are pointing these comments out that he has made that have resulted in a response by most reasonable people to say it's just wrong. It's just Order, wrong. Why did they so, him? so I think I, I credit him, Kane. Okay? Credit who? Great job oh, the guy. oh, yeah. I, 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 I get, I get the I, guy. After, I get the guy. He asked some good questions. Sixty minutes, and, guy. And he did ask some good questions, but she still really good she Still, yeah. She, she, still, did, she danced a little she bit. Still dodged. She, she still dodged the answers. Mm -hmm. She ain't give no answers, little, and you know that. Little hot potato. Little hot potato. Yeah, yeah you, you know. know. I, well, let me put it back on Trump. Well, no, man, you in office right now. Be honest with the people. And I think if if, if uh, former President Trump saw this interview, uh, he should go on 60 Minutes because the guy will ask fair questions. Dude, it may be a conflict. Dude, I think that was probably a conflict of, you know, scheduling. That's what? all it was. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, we don't know. Yeah, don't I'm pretty know, sure because he's doing everybody. He he, yeah, he's he going would, to he, all he go of, on everybody. That you is know true. that, that is majority true. of the people that he's going to is not just a uh, uh, li uh, uh, conservative thinking. You know what I'm saying? So right, he's right, going right. to everybody, that's like and he that. that's what yeah. that's what I like. I like for you to just go go into the fire easy. because they're gonna have they're gonna have some heated questions for you. He doing town halls from the from the people. You know what I'm saying? He's doing all of that stuff. Not nothing scripted. Whatever he'll do it for the uh, press. He's like, all right, go ahead, let's go. You over there. What you got? You know? Rapid fire? Yes. <laughs> yes. But she will mm. never do that. She, nah, nah, nah. If it goes off script, oh, my God. Yeah. And that's, is that who you want to run your country? Somebody that can't go off script. Meaning, if it's not play by play, 
going exactly how you planned it, do you really want somebody like that? Well, now, this is just what I see and what she's portraying. I'm not that? I'm not saying that? that she's not the best candidate, uh, the better candidate. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying just pay attention to what's going on right now. Pay attention. Right now, she's avoiding certain questions. And she's repeating herself on everything. When people yes, say that's... it's inflation, she says she's giving six thousand dollars for newborns. Who cares about that? Because everybody's not having a newborn. Who cares about that? Everybody's Same. not having that. So that's what I'm Same. saying. Like, what are you doing about inflation? Oh, we're gonna tax the 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 rich. How? That, that part. That, that is part so right dumb there gets to me, me because we've been hearing that. For the last, I don't know, fifteen years, oh my God, bro, twenty years, bro. they always that's that's one the number one playbook out of the Democratic candidate or party. Mm-hmm. We're gonna tax the one percent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How? Yeah. So how are you gonna yeah. do it? What's gonna be done? What do you want to do it? Because these are the people that are hiring the people that you're saying is creating jobs. Right. <laughs> They create right. these jobs, as you say, well, we got so many jobs, you know, this month we got so many. These are the same billionaire companies that are doing this. But, but you want to tax uh, them, so can they hire like that you say that they hire still? And make a profit and, and be able to move and grow? Because they got to have a profit Kane, to grow. Come on now. Kane, I will say this going back a couple of years ago when it was President Trump and Hillary Clinton, and he said, hey, if you have a problem with it, rewrite the tax code, but you won't because some of your donors do the same tax write-offs that I do. And they use it too. You know they, they use it too. Yeah. Come on. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Come so on. so that, that like I That's say That's a talking point. That's like talking like I point. say, yeah. man, it, it's uh, it, I don't know why people are falling for it, but it, 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 you know, have your take in the comments, man, what y'all think about this? This is her little um, 60 minutes. You may have seen this earlier. You may have seen it live. You may have seen it on other platforms or whatever from other um, podcasters or whatever. But what do y'all think about this? What do y'all think yes. about Kamala and her interview on 60 Minutes? Did she, Come on. Did she uh, sway you? Did she mm. answer the questions? Or did she dodge? Did she dodge? Did she dodge some of those questions? Did she just tell you what she's been telling everybody on The View and everybody oh. else the same exact thing over and over again? I'm going to give you $6,000 if you got a newborn, start a business. I'm going to give you twenty five, oh no, no, 30 And if you, um, what they said, start a business, they said uh, have a child, and then they also said something about uh, buying a house. So if you ain't buying a house or starting a business or having a child, how are you going to fix the inflation? Kane, I was very surprised you didn't say the opportunity zone. Of the opportunity economy. Yes, yes. yes. You've been that, but that but the, that, that's, the, that's the, the title for everything I just said. Yes. She, she, that's yes. the title for all of that, you know? And this yes. is so crazy that 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 is not going to do anything. If you crack down on energy, crack yeah. down on energy. Come on. Everything else will fall. Everything else will reduce. She might sway some a lot of voters if she said, "Okay, we finna open up the pipeline again." Yeah. We and she would go against the whole Democratic Party yeah. by doing that. She don't. She doesn't want to do that because that's the, because the Green New thousands Deal is what what sparked all this. When they started the Green New Deal and all okay. that, that's what sparked all this inflation. When they stopped all this, stopped that, they, and now do that look all at us. We saving the Come planet. <laughs> According to them, we saving the planet. So we're saving the planet, and everybody's paying for it. And hurting each other. I mean, come on. You're right. You're right. For sure, for sure. In the come comments, on. man, let us know what y'all come think on. about this. I know we kind of drug this out or whatever, but I mm. mean, I want that information to get out and hopefully you guys can have an opinion about what's going on yeah. because, you know, November 5th is right around the corner. Ooh, it's right on. around the corner. 
what you gonna do? I mean, I, I if you're gonna go left, you're gonna go right. What you gonna do? I mean, ain't no, there's no more uh, debates. There's no more anything. It's all out there. All they're doing is just repeating what you've already heard right now. So go ahead and make that decision. And I'm not swaying you in any decision, but just make your decision. Inform decision, yeah. though. That's what I want y'all to uh, make sure that y'all doing versus listening to anything else. Because I'm not, I'm not swaying you anyway. Because I know these media sources, they will sway you in a different way and, and shade another person. But I just, I see it. I call it spade to spade. And if you're, if you're dodging, you're dodging. That's it. For sure. For sure. Anything else, bro? Man, don't vote with just your emotions. <laughs> Never that. Vote for a candidate who's going to do, that aligns with your values, who's going to do something Policy. for you. Okay. Policy. That's it. Yes. Vote for vote for who who aligns with you know what you believe in and the policy that they are uh letting you know that that's that's what's you know that they're about. So make sure you go to their websites and read yes. on their policy. Read up on it. Don't just go with the media. Take some time out. Cause this is your vote. Make it worth the while. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Don't just just you know follow everybody else. This is your vote. People have died for your ability to vote. So how about you Come just on. vote but be informed? I don't Ooh. care which way you go, but make sure you're informed and do your research. And that's the uncomfortable that's truth. Hey, baby. <laughs> Come on. Do something. Vote. And then take a trip. Let's go. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 